Hello friends, in today's session, we will solve the first question will be asked in the RSAS exam. So without wasting your time, let's start this video. The first question will be asked in the RSAS exam is a configuration of the networks and the IP address, netmask, gateway and DNS are available in your question mark. So how to solve it? Let's see in our screen. Very first step is to show the our network system network for that we using the nmcli connection show command nmcli connection show then here you can see that in my system ens33 is our my network and having the type is the ethernet and device is a ens33 here in my system there are only one network but in your rscsa exam there are the two networks are given so you can just pick up one network and edit it here i am add a new network why because because in my system there is only one network if i am editing this network then there will be problem in my network so i am just adding the new network so how to add or modify any network there are the simple command nmcli nmcli connection connection add instead of add you can use the modify for editing the network add con name con name just tap after that name of the network my name of the network is bits you can give any of the name but in your rss exam there are the network is given so you can just edit instead of add you can just modify uh, type the modify then your command is nmcli connection modify con name equal to your network name okay after that you need to mention the ip ip address so that's why you can write here ipv port dot addresses then you can just uh, press the tab button he will automatically complete this command then the ip address is given in your question paper you just type 172.24.1.5 okay ah yes the IP address you can write in the colon 172.24.1.5 after that we need to just add a gateway that's why I'm using it here IPv4 dot gateway pressing the tab you will automatically complete this command then mention the gateway gateway is also given in the question paper 172.24.1.5 1.254 okay then we can also add the dns that's why i'm using ipv4 dot dns pressing the tab automatically completed the command then here we mention the dns 172.24.1.254 after that we need to give the type of this network there are the two types first is a static static means manual and dynamics means automatic okay so for give the type we use here ipv4 dot if you do not know this command this press the tab two times here all ipv4 related commands are shown in your screen just pick up one commands and you can do all the tasks related to the network so i am use i want to give the type of this network so here are the one commands that is ipv4 method these commands i want to pick up this command that's one i am just type ipv4 dot method then pressing the tab automatically completed this command then i want a manual method that's why i'm here to write a manual then next step is uh, what is the type of our network there is a ethernet or modbus communication that's why we need to use the type for giving the type there are the command type ty te type what is the type type is a ethernet that's why i'm here using ethernet okay after that this after that we need to just press the enter button to add a network 
instead of add you can just here mention the modifier for modifying the network or editing the network okay when we press the enter button the bits connection is successfully added okay this mention is this message is showing in your screen so how to check the status of our network very first command we will use nmcli nmcli connection connection show here you can see there are the second uh, network is added in my network but this network is a white that means this network is down so in our CSA exam we can also up this network here green symbol means our network is up and enable and white means our network is down and not enable so how to up this network for upping this network we have the command nmcli nmcli connection connection up and then the network network name is bits that's why i'm here mention the bits then enter our connection successfully activated dbus activated path this message is also showing in your screen that's why then our connection is up so for checking purpose you can also see that here uh, my network uh, bits is already up green signal indicate that our network is in up condition and you need to reboot this system i do not my reboot this system because it will take 5 minutes for rebooting in your exam you need to reboot this system for the further changes okay after that for the checking purpose purpose you also ping your network okay and the command is ping and then here the ip address of your system the ip address is mentioned in your question paper you need to just type 172.24.1.5 or here you can see that the pinging is start okay here this message is showing that our network is successfully work and our question is successfully solved okay control z is stop the services okay if this services is not stop then you just press the control plus z he will this services will be automatically stop and our question will be solved and you will get easily 10 to 15 marks in this question so friends if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and wait for the next video thank you